In our marketing, we have a lot of assumptions about what we think will work. We have that golden gut. You know, one of, one of those assumptions is long form doesn't work. People want short, they want quick, they want quippy. Well, that's why you gotta test and experiment and see what works. And we're looking at an experiment today that challenges that model. Hi, I'm Daniel Burstein. I'm the Senior Director of Content at Marketing at MechLabs Institute. I'm joined by Dennis Merkwa, the General Manager of HealthSpire, a subsidiary of Aetna. Thanks for joining us, Dennis. Uh, thank you for having me. So here we're gonna look at uh, an experiment that uh, your team ran with MacLabs Institute. And so yes. uh, let's just start, pull it up on the screen, and we've got the control treatment and one in treatment two. And let's just start by telling us about HealthSpire briefly. Who are they? How, how does HealthSpire serve a customer? Yeah. Well, HealthSpire is an Aetna uh, subsidiary. Mm -hmm. And as such, we offer a portfolio of Medicare products uh, for the seniors in the country that are eligible to purchase Medicare. Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, as well as ancillary products such as dental and vision, cancer, heart attack, and stroke, really trying to uh, uh, protect as much as we can, enable people to have that protection uh, uh, holistically for their health. Okay, and so when we look at this landing page, what was the goal of the landing page? <laughs> well, the goal of the landing page, the, the, if you look at the first, the control version, uh, that's when the health spire started a year, year and a half ago. And uh, as you said, we all want things to be shorter, cleaner, and to the point. Unfortunately, when you deal with a very complex product and an industry such as a healthcare is, uh, it is not that easy to do. However, a year and a half ago when we started health spire, the assumption was, or hypothesis was, that we want to have something that's short and not confusing. What we were afraid of is that with more information will create more confusion, more friction, hence uh, result in a negative outcome. So we decided to go with a first uh, control version, simple, just outlining products we have without going in depth and uh, giving them a chance to contact us via phone, via schedule a call or, or, or chat with us. Let's take a look at, so what were you trying to do with these two treatments? Okay, then a few months after standing up that page, we realized it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> we realized <laughs> something's going on. Uh, and then I was fortunate to be a reference to, to, to Mac Labs and Flint uh, by my manager. And uh, uh, when we started talking to Mac Labs, uh, the lights went on, the <laughs> light bulb went on. Uh, I realized that the discipline that Mac Labs has in actually understanding the relevant content, understanding the audience that we want to service, uh, understanding the products is, is the way to go. So we, we engaged with Mac Labs to create a uh, new set of landing pages that are actually focused on how consumer would like to interact with us, and especially that we have very targeted consumer segment that may not be that digitally savvy. Hence, we started working on a few different prototypes. Uh, uh, again, we wanted to have something that has a bit more information. It's more informative, but give a two different f looks and feels. One would be with a lot more information in depth, another one with less information that would really service almost as a pass through to people who have already done their research. Mm -hmm. And then we launched. Yeah, so now you can see, and if you're, if you're watching too, look at the short versus the long, and think about that for a second. I think most people would assume, you can see how much longer that page is, short's gonna work better. It's quick, everything's right there, people yes. don't wanna read through things that are long. Let's take a quick look at the results. So now, and let me mention these results, they're, they're pretty astounding. Um, we're still in the middle of this experiment. Dennis just happens to be joining us at our headquarters in Jacksonville, Florida here. So that's why we're discussing it now. So uh, the results aren't complete yet, but looking at those early numbers, that's pretty astounding of how well the long form is doing. No, it's doing great actually. And what we found out uh, uh, by working with Mac Labs and, and testing things is that at the end of the day, what we are asking somebody to do is call us and talk to a person. Mm -hmm. So having actually the person or the people that will be that the customers will be talking to on the on the site and actually having them opportunity to get to know the agents a bit before they call and uh, provide a content that would actually create a relationship between the customer and the agent on the site even before they call us is one of the reasons why we believe that the, the treatment fund is doing a lot better. Yeah, so I think what you're doing there is it's a, it's a process level value proposition, right? Yes. You're not trying to sell 
all of HealthSpire, all of your entire product. All you're trying to do is get someone to make a call. And that could be a reason why the long form works better.